There are certain situations where spraying in standard mode using the blended pulse spray system of AIM Command Flex may not fit your application. The control mode can easily be changed, although you must pause the task to do so. Touch the TC Setup tab and touch the pause button. This pauses the task so changes can be made. From here, navigate back to the Spray tab. Select the Settings button in the VT window. Touch the far left tab where the nozzle control mode can now be changed. Bypass mode can be used when product is being applied at higher rates. This mode shuts off the nozzle control valve NCV, and only sprays out of the tip that is on the nozzle body containing the manual drip check. This is referred to as conventional spraying. Once the mode is selected on the home screen, you'll see in the bottom right corner that there is an X over the NCV diagnostics icon indicating that the tip attached to the NCV will not be used. The next nozzle control mode we'll discuss is standard. This is where most spraying operations will be done. In standard mode, NCVs pulse 10 times per second and the duty cycle is changed to achieve a target rate. This mode is referred to as blended pulse spraying. Notice that under section control there are three options to choose from. Boom valve will operate the 5 to 7 boom section valves on the machine. The 36 virtual option utilizes the 36 nozzle groups or virtual sections that have been created across the boom. If the Case IH Viper 4 Plus is being used in the cab, individual nozzle or nozzle level control is available as an option. This is a paid upgrade and only available with the Case IH Viper 4 Plus display. Note that only the NCV tip size can be changed in standard mode. On the home screen, in the bottom right corner, the NCV icon comes back and will allow diagnostic information to be displayed. Next, we're going to change to on-off mode. This mode will use the NCVs almost like an electronic drip check. As soon as you turn the master spray switch on, they'll open to 100% duty cycle and as soon as you turn the switch off, the NCVs will close. However, this mode will not spray utilizing blended pulse. On-off mode sprays just like a conventional machine would spray. It's just using the NCVs as a drip check. Note we can still use our boom section valves or 36 virtual sections on an AFS Pro 700, or we can use individual nozzle level depending on the installed display. Only the NCV tip size can be edited in this mode. In the bottom right corner of the home screen, the icon shows that NCVs are being used, but diagnostic information is not available. VP, or variable pressure mode, can be used when pressure is not a priority, such as in fertilizer applications. Depending on the display, Boom valve, 36 virtual, and nozzle level control options are available with this mode. The only tip size that can be altered is the NCV tip size in VP mode. The icon in the lower right corner of the home screen will show the NCV, diagnostic capability, and the letters VP. Remember, with this mode, pressure is not a priority, so anytime droplet size is critical, another mode should be selected. High flow mode allows both the NCV and the bypass tip to spray simultaneously to achieve higher rates while maintaining target pressure. Applying high rate fertilizer or any chemical requiring higher rates and consistent droplet size would be an example of when to use this control mode. Section control is grayed out and set to boom valve. In high flow mode, the physical boom valves on the machine are used. Because both tips are utilized, select each tip size from the drop-down menus. On the main screen, the icon shows two nozzles spraying, indicating high flow has been selected for operation. The last nozzle control mode option in the list is High Flow VP. In this mode, both the bypass and NCV tips will spray simultaneously, providing the ability to reach even higher rates. However, Pressure will remain variable 
and not a priority. We have the option to change both the NCV tip size and the bypass tip size, but our section control is now reverted back to boom valve control and will do so anytime we are spraying out of the bypass tips. The icon on the main screen now shows two nozzles spraying with VP between them. Remember, with this mode, pressure is not a priority, so anytime droplet size is critical, another mode should be selected. No matter which control mode is selected through the display, ensure the tip size entered matches the physical nozzle size installed on the boom. Once completed, the task must be resumed. Because we have changed the implement, it must be selected from the menu. To do this, simply touch in the implement box and select sprayer and then touch the resume button. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use your new Patriot Sprayer equipped with AIM Command Flex from Case IH. Don't forget to check out our other videos covering a wide range of setup and operation topics to learn more about making AIM Command Flex work for you.